Baruch Hashem, in every day of the week, we need to do the best that we can to connect ourselves to Hashem and to know Hashem and to think about Hashem and to to relax our mind by understanding what really goes on in our lives. And uh, reminding ourselves that the Creator is with us and that our lives has a purpose and great meaning. But on Shabbat, Hashem commanded us to rest. And we need to let our mind ease a little bit and to try to see how really things are working from within. On the daily on the daily basis, on the regular days of the week, we always see Hashem dresses up in different forms and shapes and coverings, revealing His light through the curtains of creation. But on Shabbat, we cannot travel so much and go and work and find ourselves in complex situations that we're going to have meaningful lessons on how to see Hashem and recognize His greatness in our daily situations. On Shabbat, we need to rest and to listen more, much, much more to our thoughts to listen to the voice of our soul that is talking to us from within, to allow ourselves to feel and to sense and to think and to connect ourselves to the great light, the spiritual bounty that is shining from within, with inside our souls. This light is godliness itself, it's infinity itself, it's the beauty, it's life source, it's life itself. It's the light that is shining from within every creation. All the creations that you know, not only based on bread, the men we live, the verse is saying, means that the person lives on an inner source and not only on physical food that is eating from outside, a bread that he's buying or making and taking. Every creation finds its life from outside but also from within. You can nurture a certain plant and he will not grow because he doesn't have an inner structure to live. You can take care of an animal and pet it and talk to it and feed it and love it and keep it warm and everything that is needed by rules of nature and it, God forbid, won't survive because it's weak from inside. There is an inner source of life that is pulsing, that is coming out like an inner spring, that is revealing itself, that is coming out and it wants to spread and to shine and to glow and to bloom and to and to expand to reveal its greatness to the world those are the qualities of your spirit that is the great true colors of your soul that is your inner voice your deepest thoughts your emotions your feelings that we must share with the world so first of all to be aware to ourselves to listen to that inner light on the day of Shabbat, the seventh day of the week, day that is connecting the six days that are the foundation of the world to its spiritual source. Like that simple explanation that I just gave on animals that are feeding themselves from food and also from within, all creations that are working in that way, also in a general way, all the creation is like that. You have six days of the week that if you're not going to work, if you're not going to run, take care of all your obligations and errands, you just won't find your way in this world. You must eat, but you must also connect yourself to a spiritual inner channel. That is the seventh day. And the Zohar Kadosh, the holy, holy writing of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and his students and friends, 
is also saying that the righteous man, the righteous man of the generation, is also Shabbat, is also in that aspect. To go and chase after rabbis and going and meeting people and asking for blessings, it can be good, but to a certain extent, the real righteous man, the real light of holiness and purity will be found only within, only within. So focus and meditate and pray and listen. Observe on the voice of your soul and may the blessings of the Creator shine upon us all and from within to heal us and protect us and bring complete redemption to the whole wide world. Amen. Can you hear that song?